A real important angle when sculpting the face is going to be kind of this three-quarter view. And um, <clears throat> over here, I have this set up for really the full body, you know, from the front, like we have here, and the side. So I think what I'm going to do, instead of kind of um, ruining this layout, I'm going to introduce a new layout. So up here, um, I can click on this plus sign and I can go to general um, and sculpting. Okay, now I'm making another sculpting layout and this time I'm gonna go ahead and drag this over and I'm going to split this into three. Okay, so I'm gonna go like, uh, actually I think I'll go like this, let me see. Um, I'll bring this down like that and then I'll, I think I'll split this over like that. Now I'm gonna look at this one from the front view like this this one from the side view like this and i guess i don't really need even these so i maybe make a collapse uh let's see i think to collapse this better i think i'm going to um let me see i'm going to go put that up and then I'll collapse this up like that, and then I'll collapse this over like that, and then collapse this over like that. There we go. Now I've got kind of more room here. And up here, I'm gonna put actually another one. So on this one, I think I'm going to, um, and, and I don't really need to necessarily see the model. So if the model's kind of getting in the way, I could just kind of uh, disregard that uh, temporarily and Maybe what I'll do is look at it from the side or even from the front, it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna introduce a new reference. I'm gonna go ahead and drag that in. I need to be in object mode. So I'm gonna go here to object mode. There we go. And now I can just kind of have this, whoa. There we go. And I can see that right there like that. And then for these, um, maybe I don't want to see the mesh. So I can come, uh, let me see. So here I could say mesh, okay. So you can see that it's just strictly for um, reference. Okay, um, now what's neat about this is that I could go back to my other sculpting and you can see that it's saved there. And then I can go to this sculpting and save like this. So on this one, obviously I want this to be um, extras taken off. So now I've got kind of clean sculpting here. And I guess I will need my um, kind of my subdivision modifier, but that's okay. I could just kind of go like this and then I can set this to be, um, let's say, properties. And then if I go into my, if I click on this, now I can go into modifiers and then here's my um, modifiers if I need them. Okay, so again, what I'm trying to show is that you can kind of customize this however you want. Now what's cool is if you have another monitor, um, if I hold down shift while clicking on something let's say 3d viewport or shift i believe while grabbing this now i can uh, have a floating menu that i can put into another monitor full screen um, but again if, if you only have one monitor um, you, you can see how nice you can set this up like this so again sculpting here um, i'm going to switch back to sculpt mode um, I've, I've got what I need and basically only what I need for kind of full body sculpting. And then again here, I've got this face layout. And again, what I'm looking at is this one. Now all of these references are what's in orthographic view. 
So orthographic just means that there's no depth to it. So I can see that um, when I look at it, like in one of these modes, there's no depth to it. And I feel like if there was depth, you can kind of start to see how it looks like this. Like if you notice these ears, for example, but if I go like this, I can see how it looks like his ears are bulging out kind of. And that's again, perspective versus orthographic. So this view right here is an orthographic reference. So if I move it like this, and if I'm in true perspective, that I could kind of be fighting against, like it might not be giving me accurate detail, but if I press five on the number pad, now I'm in orthographic mode and I'm able to see, I'm, I'm able to see it a little bit more clearly. And what I'm looking at is I'm looking at this line right here, that silhouette edge, and I'm comparing that to my silhouette edge, okay? And if I wanted to see this another way, I could even go to flat and you can see that now I can really start to see that and I'm forced to only look at that kind of that detail there. So again, I could go to MatCap or even Studio and um, really see that. So hopefully, again, this can kind of be a, a nice uh, setup for us. Again, if I go to this one, it's full body. This one, I'm back to the face.